Today we're going to go through the basic cleaning and assembly procedures for a Frosty factory machine. This is the a large model, but they're basically all the same in the cleaning and assembly. So we're going to go through it step by step, show you how easy it is. First you have to turn the machine off by placing the top switch in the center position and then you remove the faceplate knobs in pairs and all these parts are going to be washed in soapy water. I'm going to throw them in a bucket of soapy water keep them all in one place. There's your four knobs and then you remove your face plate face plate o-ring and then you take the plunger out of the faucet. You do not have to remove the faucet body from the face plate, it stays together. And there's your faucet plunger. Next item is the beater bar. It comes out one piece, it will not separate. And the piece you do want to take off of it is the spring seal. It slides off and it will come apart into three pieces. So we're going to wash that as well. And while we've got it apart, we're going to need a little bit of a paper towel over here to clean our ceramic ring. But while we've got it apart, we're going to dip our drip tube brush in hot water and run it up into the barrel. And the brush comes up in the back of the barrel behind the ceramic ring. And you can see that and what we're doing is cleaning out any debris or residue that's in the tube. And we want to do this until the brush comes back clean. So that's a very important step to cleaning the internals of the unit. The other thing you're going to do is when you're cleaning the faucet brush, you can take this small brush and get in here and clean out any residue in it. So that'll be in the soapy water. While we've got it open, this is a good time to inspect the ceramic ring in the back. Wipe it with a clean towel, paper towel. Make sure there's no residue on it. Get all the grease and whatnot off of it. You also want to take the float clip off the float up in the hopper. It's a small clip that just snaps on. You take it off and slide the float off and put those two in the soapy water to clean them as well. And then you also want to take a clean cloth, dip it in the hot soapy water and wipe the inside of the hopper out and get all the residue out of it where you're back down to clean stainless steel metal. This is very important to keep that clean so you don't have a buildup in there over time. And then when you're through washing your parts, you get ready and reinsert the float. And you'll either have one model with two dots pointing up or you may have a lip on it. And that goes on the stem, the dots facing up, and then you put the clip on it. And then you're ready to go back together with the rest of the machine. Now when you go back together, you're going to take your beater bar and your spring seal. And these two pieces have to be very clean. So what I'm going to do is take my seal and just spin it until I get all the grease off of it. And then you put a light film of sanitary lubricant on the bar. And it's just enough to help you slide the seal onto the bar. The cup goes on first, the spring, and then the black carbon ring goes on last. And then you're good to go. And then you take it, insert it into the barrel, and you'll rotate it until it drops in to fully engage. The next part is to Take your faceplate o-ring, put a slight film grease on it, and this helps the ring stick to the faceplate. That's all it's doing is helping it stick to it. It doesn't really serve any lubricating purpose. And you'll stab the center bushing onto the shaft and then insert that on there, and then we're going to 
put our four knobs back on and we do that in opposite corners so we do it evenly and once we get those snugged up we'll put the faucet plunger back in we're going to also add some lubricant to the faucet body to make sure the faucet can slide smoothly and evenly. And we want to get this O-ring nice and snug where it seals all the way around and it's a good time to check it and make sure everything's snug. I'm going to add just a little bit of lubricant in here. Put a little bit on the O-rings themselves. And then we insert that in, thread the faucet on, and we're going to check it, make sure it opens and closes freely. And it's a good time now to wipe the unit down. You can also take your drip tray off, wash it up, and then reinsert, hang it on the front pins. If you have the Model 289, you're going to have a beater bar that looks something like this. It's got a rubber seal on it. And this bar takes, you just wash it up and then you add a, a nice big dose of sanitary lubricant and that's how it works. This is for the model 289 only. And it can be uh, used as an option on other models. So that's another seal that we have available. After you've got your machine reassembled, you can make up a two gallon batch of sanitizing solution. We recommend Sterachine product. And put that in there, stir it around in the stir mode for at least five minutes, no more than 10. and then. Turn that off, drain the sterilizing solution, and then rinse with fresh water. You're now ready to add your product. And if you need a review of all these cleaning instructions, there's a QR code on the front of the machine. You can hit it with your cell phone and pull those instructions up instantly for quick and easy access. Thanks again for watching. We hope you enjoy your Frosty Factory product.